Hello, good evening and welcome to Newcastle X-Wing. My name's Steve, I'm your host for the evening and this evening I am joined by Ian. Um, Ian, know. your mic is hot. Um, we have our league game to play tonight, so you have got a separatist against scum lineup. We'll go straight over the board and I'll talk you through things and Ian will help me, I'm sure, while we are on the board because we're just at set up point. We've placed rocks and we're about to start placing ships. We have got a fun-filled, packed-filled evening of Star Wars for you this evening. We have got this game now, which is, it's not a crunch game, but it's a high-pressure game, isn't it, Ian? Well, I think we've put the pressure on ourselves, but yeah, I'm claiming this is one for all the marbles. Right, because at the moment, <laughs> um, at the moment, Russell is leading the league. And realistically, the only people who can get there and give him a good run for his money is whoever wins this game. So we have put a bit of pressure on ourselves because we both want to be that person. Um, and yeah, somebody needs to absolutely hammer the other one the night. And no close games, no sportsmanship awards, none of that. Unfortunately, I've not played this list before and it's separatists. And I haven't got a clue. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But betting is open. If you want to bet, you can hit exclamation mark bet space followed by one for... That's the wrong way around. I better close betting and change that because I've got them totally the wrong way around. I've made myself red. And I need to swap as well because I'm an idiot. And I do things wrong. Got players. There we go, that's better. And I need to cancel button and reopen it with the right numbers on. That would be useful. So I am one and Ian is two. It will be there in two seconds. Well, I did say I was going to bet the bank on myself. So there we go. There in two seconds, where are we? And done and start bets. Bets are open. Okay, so it's exclamation mark bet followed by space, followed by one for me or two for Ian, followed by space, followed by the number of points. The smart money's on Ian, but you never know. I might pull off a shocker. I don't know. I'm liking Boba's chances here. Well, th there's a story to this list because I had a, a Boba Koshka list. All sorted, written out, done, happy for the, ready for this game, and then they took the crew slot away, and I thought, oh, what do I do here? Mm. So I got this brainwave, and I thought, right, I'll move Maul from Boba to Koshka. It evens out the points a bit, and it makes it a little bit more kind of um, mixes it up a bit, and then yeah, I started yeah, looking. There's something else to aim for. Yeah, and then I started looking at the list and I thought, ooh, I quite like the idea of these new bomb things, these thermal detonators. Wouldn't that be cool to put some thermal detonators on and give them a try? That's brilliant, says he. And then I thought, well, if I'm dropping bombs, you don't want Koshka, you want Iman. Oh, so, yeah, you want to be able to throw them around the corners and everything. Yeah, so, so, so Koshka <laughs> became Iman, and then so while I'm playing Ian, it would be ironic for me to put Cad Bane on there as well. I, I, I can't not. I've, it would be rude not to. It when he's available, when he's available, you've got to have him on the list, haven't you? So, as a consequence, my list, guys at home, is Boba Fett with Prox Mines, Contraband, Cybernetics, Full of Grade, and Fearless with the sla the original Slave One title, and Iman Azamine with Cad Bane, Thermal Detonator as Proxy Mines and the Andrasta title. And I'll let you talk through your list, Ian. Oh, do I have to? There's loads of cards here. <laughs> uh, I'm flying four Bactoid drones. Uh, that's the Separatist gunships. They've all got the Rebulsa Lift stabilizers, um, giving them the ability to move sideways when they're flipped. Uh, I've got a couple with Discord missiles and Concussion missiles. Uh, I've got a couple with multi-missile pods. 
I've got one hiding Kraken on for extra calculate tokens. Uh, that one has concussion bombs as well. That'll be the red one. The blue one has the probe droid. Um, I'll be looking to try and hide, hang back a bit, get some locks, and then maybe go in for one bigger hit. But we'll have to see if that pans out. Cool. Um, at this point, we should really play some chips, shouldn't we? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so I'll let you start because all yours are ones and I've got a um, a five in Boba and I've got a four in Emon. And as I was saying to Ian just before we went live, I brought a bid thinking I want my Boba to move last. All great in theory until he comes up with a 200 point list of all initiative ones. And I completely wasted six points that I could have added on. That's the game. Bits so, are for the week. It's, uh, Actually, if I if I had known you were going to fly a couple of fire sprays, I would have actually been tempted to fly a couple of the separatist ones. I had I had seven lists, and I was I had the three of them, and I'm shuffling them around, and I'm going which one, which one, which one, and it's like <laughs> I've never, uh, it's like I've never ever flown Boba. I've genuinely never flown him at all. So it's like, uh, we'll, we'll fly Boba Emon. It sounds good. Definitely. Uh, I appear to have the gravity set on mine massively high here. So I think I always, I always try to do that. Um, let's see, the lift height is down to minimum on the game. Are you happy with that? Uh, I think my yellow is slightly over the... I need to pick a colour. That would help. <laughs> I'm trying to assign dials. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, there we go. And I'll just assign my two dials and then place my chips. Because I should have done that before, but I was messing around with making things look pretty. And we somehow have got a dice box which is not quite right because we should be able to see it at this point and we can't. Why can we not? Um, let's see. My setup is fine. Game is fine. And for some reason, dice cam is not showing up the way it's supposed to. So what we'll do is I'll just very quickly, before we start, to make it work, we'll just make it a little bit larger. Stephen just needs five minutes to work his magic here. All the words that he's saying mean nothing to me. I'm just here for the ride. is for some reason just a little bit off because my magical dice that are in the corners are saying that's why because I haven't pressed the magic button that's okay because I will press the magic button in a second and then all of a sudden it will get bigger and you can't actually see what I'm doing at the moment guys just in case you're wondering um, it's all right. I wouldn't have understood what you were doing anyway. And then I need to move this one over to here and click it. This button, FM11, and that should take that off, and it has. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of the screen, when I press this magical button, we will get four dice in the centre. Yeah, I'm giving away a secret here, but that's fine, because you're all friends, and I don't mind secrets to friends. Then, just like magic, oh, we've got a little bit of a line, so we need to fix that. Just the tiniest little bit. There we go. That should be better. Still there. Tiniest little bit. Now it has gone. Just like magic, as they say. 
click on that. You're what always we'll at do, Harry. And what we'll do is we'll go like that and pick them up, move them up, just like so. And then the dice cam is working and we're all sorted and happy. And everybody is great. So I now need to place an Azamine and I'm going to do what somebody said I should do, which apparently is place him there like that. And then place him there, just like that. And apparently that's how you fly two fire sprays. But I don't know these things because I don't know how to fly anything. I, I think the idea what you want to do is you want to spin them both about 180 degrees. Oh, right. Well, I, I knew I was going to get it wrong somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, am I supposed to be helping here? No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Someone's got to catch up to Russell. Um, are, are you in any way, shape or form anywhere near Connor? Uh, I am not. He's upstairs. No. I will have to send him a message then because I've got a question for him from my other half. She says, does he really want that drawn? Because she can draw that fine. <laughs> But she's not 100% certain. She didn't quite believe him. I don't think she gets the meme. Uh, this is all sounding incredibly dodgy to me because I don't know what he's asked for. But uh, um, he, 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 came up with this, he came up with this idea and um, it is, you know, the, the shirtless... Um, ah, Swallow. Yeah. Um, Mate, the, the answer is, yeah. If it's got anything to do with Kyle and he asks for it, yeah, he wants it. Right. Well, uh, he, he came up with this. He wants too. <laughs> well, he, he came up with this idea of getting a really deep set frame, picture frame, and putting a, a picture of Kylo shirtless in the bottom and using it as a dice box. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so she's it. she's I'm done not, it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced you're gonna get dice to obviously lie flat on these uh, incredible packs. Um, right. <laughs> she says, just put it in, <laughs> put it in chat. <laughs> so, right. I ha I haven't got it. Uh, right. I'm, hang on. Can I put? Um, she's, it's not finished. Um, but I'll see if I can put it into put the camera on, and show you. Where, where she sent it to. Oh, dear me, dear me, dear me. It makes things very difficult, this. Um, there we go. If I... Right, I'm going to put the camera on and see if... Have I got a... Yes, I have got a camera of me. I will flip it over and see if I can make... I can't make it without turning some lights off. Um, can I make it visible on the camera? The answer is no, I can't. No, I would have to. No. Sorry, Carol, I can't do that because it won't show up on camera. What I would have to do is send it in chat to you guys and one of you can put it up. She says I'm a right Danny. What on earth is a right Danny? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's an amazing put down though. Right, I'll save that image. That I was going to say, unless your name's Danny, but it's probably a big. I'll put down if your name's Danny. Right, okay. So it's in it's in the group chat. Funny. Oh, she's she, she spoiling our child friendly stream by using awful words like that. No, no, that, that's, that's short for Francine, isn't it? Is it? Oh, that's okay then. Ah, uh, <laughs> honest. <laughs> right, I believe I'm set. I've got no idea what I'm doing with this, but I'm set. Right move. Okay. 
Okay. It's true, now get on with the game. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> Someone's got to keep all right. <laughs> well, well, that's very true. I'm still looking to see who's going to join us for a watch party later. I was hoping Chris would. And I've put a couple of requests out to other people in the community to see if anyone wants to jump Ooh. in and watch it with us. I uh, haven't had a reply back, but there's a couple of Star Wars fans out there who would be really good on on stream. And um, one of them in particular, she loves she loves English accents, so she'll get very very confused at us. And I just thought I that would be say, funny. She'll not understand a word of it. Yeah, I thought that would be really <laughs> funny to get somebody from New York in our chat to talk to two or three other people with Jory accents. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm all set. Uh, yep. Yeah. And I'll hit the overlay. I think we're good to go, yeah. Okay, I am um, three, two, one, start. Good luck. You're first. Well, I'm saying we're good to go. Has Discord just spat? Has it? Oh, I think it has. Um. Okay. Discord has just done a funny one. That's okay. That's fine. I thought as much. Yeah, that's because yeah. you see you're ready, and then it goes. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could still hear you, but for some reason it keeps saying nobody wants to listen to you, Steve. Which is fair. I, I get that. That's a, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. You set. Yeah, yeah. Uh, best of luck. Yeah, you too. Take it away. Uh, let's start the clock. Yeah. Um. I will stop and start. I don't know again. if you need to yeah. do um, magic. Okay, three, two. If you start it, I'll start on the overlay. Three, two, one, yeah. start. Lovely jubbly. And that's my ones. Yeah. We've got a two hard. Uh huh. And for an action, let's calculate. Too hard and calculate with yellow. Too hard and calculate with green. And surprisingly enough, too hard and calculate. Betting is still open, it's exclamation mark. Bet space one for me, mm. two for Ian, followed by space, followed by numbers. And it will end on the first engagement. Okay, and my first move is going to be Iman. And he's going to do a one bank and just sit there quite happily with a focus. And then my boy Boba is going to do a four forward and take a similar focus. I don't think we have anything in the reams of engagement, but I will check. Um, well, it can't possibly be. So that's end around, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so end of the round, I'm going to spend a charge on me probe droids. Yep. At the bottom of your screen as well, guys, you will notice that there are two counters. We've put missed trigger counters there because we'll forget to hit the button when we forget triggers, just the same. So they're just for sure, really, because um, we'll forget those as well. In theory... 100%. In, in theory, we shouldn't forget anything, but because we'll forget everything, we'll also forget to mark that we've forgotten. Because that's the way we roll. Definitely. <laughs> uh, right, so that's that launched at the end of the round, and I'm going to get rid of that calculate, but I'm going to keep the other three thanks to Kraken. And I'm just double-checking what I've got at what stage. Um, bom, bom, bom. Systems, systems, systems. Engagement, systems. Movement, that's fine. Cracking, cracking, cracking. So, I want to do one of them with that. I want to do a one of. Do you know what? I want to do one of them with that. And I've 
got all these lovely abilities here. It, it's like selecting things with Boba is easy, isn't it, when he's got Slave 1? <laughs> Wait. It is. Wait I'm like, until you end up with two wrong moves to choose from. Yeah, uh, but uh, but I'm like, I or is that, that just me? Well, I, I'm I'm thinking, you know, I can do that. But if I don't like it, I can do that. And like, oh, that's okay. It's like so. It's, it's like <laughs> it's a binary decision. Do I go straight or do I turn? And it's like that's the only decision you've really got to make, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> I wish I could do that. <laughs> Your HMPs are too powerful as it is, let alone giving them that ability. Nah, I've brought four rumours. <laughs> I'm just going to fly around in this bottom corner and bump into everything. Sounds good. Can I then just shoot you while you're doing it? You might as well. Put it up my misery. Uh, uh I think I'm set. I've got a bag here. I'm shuffling it. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show the people on camera exactly what I've got here while we're mid-game. I have got, for later, the popcorn. All sorted, ready for Mandalorian. It wouldn't be funny if we didn't have popcorn for Mandalorian. I'm set by I the don't way. Know. Should you not have like a jar of uh, lizard babies, frog babies? That's more in keeping, isn't it? Ooh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know about nice. Har Haribo one. Right. Har uh, Haribo, Haribo frog babies. Har <laughs> Haribo frog spawn. <laughs> uh, right, so system phase? Yep. I'm not going to do anything. Move me, little sneaky droid. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Where is the little sneaky droid, actually? There he is. He's there, right? He's just up here. Nothing yeah. to see. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on him. <laughs> uh, right. So my ones? Yeah. I can blow him up, can't I? You can, yeah. So I'm doing a two bank and no one's in range. So I'm just going to add another calculator to the pile. Do the same with the rest of the swarm. And that's me. I made the mistake of opening the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna move. It's gonna be an up. empty bag for the Mandalorian. No, it's a big, big bag. Okay, so Eamon is going to do a nice three bank, and he's gonna take a book. Oh, Boba. You haven't done what I expected, so he was going to do a three bank to the right, but I think I should change that to a three bank to the left using slave one. So I've shown you the three bank to the left, and I'm going to reset it to a three bank to the, sorry, three bank to the right. I'm going to reset it to a three bank to the left, and probably hit the gas cloud. I didn't need to do that because it gives us the opportunity to on the dial, and I didn't know it did that. That's cool. I ah. that. So I don't need to do it the complicated way. And he's just going to take a bug. And what I am going to do, however, is I'm going to check because it is now engagement phase. So Boba goes first. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to check my front arc and I'm going to see whether or not that little and it's just out. That's a shame. I wanted to give him a bit of a blow. Arc dodged. Yeah. I could have boosted. It's the best pilot on the field. <laughs> I could have boosted, but I didn't. I probably should have. That was a bad mistake. So I'm going to stick a myth trigger onto there, onto mine. Because that was an error. 
There we go. So I we've got it. no shots. Zeman mm -hmm. got a shot. Uh, no, he hasn't. Got Emon out range. Eamon. I will check, but I'm fairly certain. Oh, he has. Then in that case, he's going to take his three dice shot. Because it is a three dice front attack. And yep. we will roll for the droid and get. And I'm going to spend the focus and make it hit crit. Poor little guy. And oh, he loves it. And then it's yours. Uh, unfortunately, you can't shoot back. So that's going to be end of the round. Uh, I may as well spend another charge. And throw another one out. I'm just reading up here because I'm not familiar with them. Exactly what these buzz droids do. I'm going to put a calculate back on green because I got a bit carried away with deleting some there. Uh, buzz droids or probe droids? Probe droids, sorry. Uh, they let you take a target lock, counting yes. them as the point. Or yeah, I'm just uh, I'm, jam. I'm reading. I'm just reading the the card now so that I can get it in my thick head how it works. So activation engagement and end phase has no effect. Other rules, while a ship locks an object or jams an enemy ship, it may measure range from the droid. And if you overlap them, then you roll. <coughs> and suffer damage for damage. Yeah, don't crash into them. I don't like it. Okay, I had just set that and I don't know why it's now not set. I want to do that and it's also changed. Sometimes it does funny things this game. <laughs> I'm set. Yeah, I've just stupidly changed what I was going to do, so um, for better or worse, set. Uh, system fears? Um, nope, nothing I'm gonna, for me, I don't think. I'm going to move me little droids. And that's me. So... We'll be down to my ones. So we've got a two hard on blue. I'm going to flip my stabilizers. And then I'm going to grab a lock on Bova. Surprise, surprise. I didn't expect that coming. <laughs> it's a cunning plan, you see. But is it one of Baldrick's? Oh, it's not that cunning. <laughs> Let's pop another one on Bova. Uh, green. Is doing it too hard and do I need to be greedy? 
I'm gonna pop a target lock with green on the Emon yep. using the probe droid. Yep. And red is going to do the same. I'll just quickly. I engage him before so it has to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how maths works. Mm -hmm. I'll put this charge back where it belongs. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Emon is going to dice with death and roll a dice. Oh, no. But I don't actually care. I take a hit. That's He's a bit fine. Of What's no, up? That's a hit, isn't it? No, no. Um, you roll a dice, and if you roll an eye, you destroy me. You don't take any damage from it. Ah, oh, right. I thought it was the other way around. Sorry, I misread that. Um, and he still gets that would, his action. He still gets that his would action, be way cooler. Yeah. He still gets his action, even though he's sat on top of him, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's going to take a... He's going to check for target lock. Spawn the bubble. Yeah, and we'll have... Um, which one do I want? Which one do I want? I will put it onto this fella at the front here. And then Boba is going to do a three. And we're going to make it to the right as I set it. And he's then going to check for target lock. There's my bubble. There's my bubble. There. And that's fine. That's all good. The token I should have clicked before to be a good boy, but I didn't. And that's going to go on him as well. Engagement? Yeah. Uh, do I think I can get him with anybody? So, Boba goes first, yeah? Uh, hang on a minute. I'm just contemplating throwing a buzz droid. Okay. Uh, I think I'm mate with yellow. I don't think it's going to land on you. But... Actually, no, I'm not. Ignore me. Okie doke. So, Boba. Boba just wants to punch things. So, we're going to take the range two. We're going to take the range two at, what colour is this one? Um, at blue. With the target lock. Three dice. I don't have anyone in range one, so I don't have any roll, re rolls. Fearless, um, perform a primary attack if the attack range is, is not one, so that's fine. Just double checking my triggers. And that's two out of the box. One hit and two out of the box, so two to re roll. That is a hit, hit, focus. So I'm going to spend the target lock. I might as well and re roll that one for the same result. So it's two hits. I'm just going to add three missed triggers to my uh, score there because despite saying that I was going to hard turn and uh, flip me stabilizers, I forgot to flip them on the other ships. <laughs> I'm doing incredibly well here. <laughs> It's not like it's a big part of what they do or anything. And so you evade you know, one and take just... one one damage. Do these things have shields? On the blue, yeah, yeah. The blue. It's a B wing. It's a, it's a big, -wing. beautiful <laughs> round B wing. And that was blue, wasn't it? That was, yeah. It was indeed. Okay, so, Eman, front arc. Has got range three at all of them. He's got the target lock on blue, so we might as well take the blue. So 
after that is three dice for Iman. I was very naughty and left the dice in the dice box. Sorry, guys at home. It's all right. I only just caught it, got rid of them before you noticed. Um, and you know what? I'm going to spend the target lock and re-roll that one. For hit, hit, crit. Pretty good roll. I'll two. just double evade. <laughs> Lose another shot. Yeah, nice, nice dice. <laughs> <laughs> they should do that more often. Mine never do that. Okay, your shots. Yep, uh, may as well start with blue. I'm going to fire a concussion missile in the Boba. Yep. Uh, I'll just quickly check the range. Range 2, so I can fire that. Okay. Uh, three days. Yes. And there are no range bonuses, so I get my two. There are not. Uh, I'll just spend my calculator. So you're taking damage regardless. You're getting good dice. And I I'll, am not. I'm happy. I'm incredibly that's, happy. That's a lot of damage on the Boba early on. Um, so that is um, three shields down. And I need to flip. Uh, let's go with yellow. Range three in the Boba. Uh, we'll also spend a charge on concussion. Uh, so because I've got two locks on Boba, I can re-roll up to two dice. Yeah. Uh, let's roll them both. See what happens. Oh, jeez, Louise, where's these dice coming from? I don't know. Well, that's a bit better. Wait. That's it too. <laughs> and loses his last shield. So I've got red and green left to go. And unfortunately, when I built these, I thought the multi-missile pods were better than they were, but they're not. So I've got range three in the Boba, mm -hmm. just with a primary shot. Yay, I got an extra dice. Uh, I will spend the calculator for two hits. And we will roll the three. And that is focus, focus, focus. That is of absolutely no use to me whatsoever. And take two cards. Darn you, dice. This is going well. Uh, same again from red. <laughs> I don't think I've ever rolled this well, Stephen. I'm sorry. It's always when we play to that. I still haven't forgiven you for ionizing my hand off the board. <laughs> and that's two blanks. No. So I'll re roll that one because it was out the box. And gets one of eight and takes one. This is a disastrous round for me. Stand still and let me shoot you, man. Uh, what's Boba on? Boba is down to four. For two shields. I think that's a good trade. I'm not an expert at this game, but to me that seems good. Is that all you shoot you've done? That's everything I've got, yeah. 
Thank the Lord. Uh, end of the round. I will keep that calculated on there. Back the tails. Well, not having our army stabilizers flipped is proven to be a pain in the bum. I'm set. So I've got that. Don't know what I want to do with here. Don't think I want to do that. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? This game could be over very yeah. quickly, you know. I think I'm set. Okay, no. uh, system fears? Um, no, not this time. For me. I'm just going to move my, uh, my happy little friends here. Yep. Except for the one that's under you. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to stay still because that sounds like a, a nightmare moving him. I don't know how we do that, to be fair. Nah, he's, he's happy enough where he is. Are you sure? <laughs> we'll just, we'll, we'll we can figure that. it out. We can figure out if you want to move him. No, no, that's all right. He's good there. Right, uh, right so Blue is going to do one of those cool little turns. And then I have to flip my repulsor back. And he's just going to calculate. And I'm going to add a mystery uh, because I forgot to close that. Yeah. <laughs> the most important of all triggers. Oh, sorry. And I'm going to add another one because guess what I've done? Forgot to take the dice out of the box. I, I may have also forgotten to do that. <laughs> uh, Sorry, right, guys. Do Dice box is new. <laughs> uh, I think he's just going to calculate again. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, green. It's going to do a two bank. Put that charge back. And green will... What does green want to do? I'm going to swap my... No, I'm not going to swap my lock. I'll just calculate. Let's not do anything daft. Red. It's doing the two bank, and he will also calculate. That's me done. This is going to be nasty. <laughs> Iman is doing a three bank, and that's going to bump, which is a bit of a shame. And then Boba is going to move a two bank, 
or attempt to, and I don't think he's going to fit either. And we'll go towards the left because he blatantly isn't going to fit towards the right. And he's blatantly not going to fit towards the left either. That's <laughs> not good. Well, at least he's got like a million rerolls now because he's got three ships at range one. Yes. That is a bonus. That's a thing, right? <laughs> it is. And he also has Fearless. So, his front yeah, arc... Yeah, red might be sad. Yeah. His front arc is a range one at, yeah. at red, naturally, because he's not bumped into red. And that's going to give him four dice because it's range one. And then he gets, and I'll spawn the range one bubble just to double check and be good because we should do these things. Um, he gets one, two, three rerolls for his ship ability. And fearless means that he changes one result automatically to a hit. So let's see what the dice give us. So we've got one. I'm going to reroll well, three. Make them now, worse to three. Right, hang on. Um, is there an order that I have to do fearless in? So can I no, no, you can reroll and right. then you can change one. Okay, well, I wasn't sure if I had to pick one to change straight away before rerolling or not. Well, you can do. Which is two crit, and we'll change oh, that one no. to a hit. So that is hit, hit, crit, crit from Boba, which is a rather nice roll. Thank you very much, Mr. Boba Fett. I, I mean, that's as good as it was going to get. <laughs> <laughs> So, so let's just lose all my shields on red. Uh, it's going to be Amon next. It is, and Amon has got a front arc. At, um, red is range one in bullseye. Yellow is range one, but he's bumped, so it would be rude not to take range one. Because it is four dice, so Emon doesn't have anything else that adds, because that's not the way he rolls. Let's see if he rolls well. He doesn't roll well at all. Three focuses, three eyeballs, and a blank is not what you want when you don't have a focus or a force. Okay, so I'll let's... be honest, though, that's kind of what I wanted. Well, it is, yeah. So let's see um, <laughs> Let's see if they can stay alive long enough to actually do some damage next round. So I've got range two there from blue. Blue is going to fire another concussion. So let's flip that. Oh no. Uh, do I get greedy? I should have another lock on Boba. Where's that gone? Has it been left behind? I did, did. Put two on each. You did, yes. I don't know where they've gone though. Weird. Have they acted? Uh, I'll just. I'll what I'll do. I'll leave it on, and I'm just gonna re-roll the two for the two locks I should have on. Okay. In the nothing. I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed because I'm not. At least I, we're both. Yeah. At, least, at least we're both getting <laughs> bad rolls. I am very disappointed. Right, so red, what have we got? I'll go with green. That's not the firing arc I want, though. Uh, 
Um, Chris says calculate went to yellow, not green, I think. Calculate went to yellow, not green. Well, I'm slightly lost on that. So I've got aim on there at range two. Yeah. Oh, right. I've got you. <laughs> That's where it is. <laughs> no, no way. Did he not still have it? He kept his calculate from before, though, didn't he? So is Chris saying that green should have a calculate, yeah? He, he, he's just put, he's just said calculate went to yellow, not green, I think. So he's not even certain. Oh, no, that makes sense, because there's two calculates on, on yellow. yellow. Yeah. And one each on them, right? Yeah. Thank you, Chris. You're the best. <laughs> uh, right, so range two from green. I'm going to spend a charge. You'll be even better if he joins us for the watch party later. Because he he, wor he works well he works well on camera. It would be great to have somebody else on camera like we did last week. I'm going to flip an extra charge mm -hmm. so that I get an extra dice because you're in my front arc. Yep. So that takes it to the dizzying heights of three dice. And this is at. Uh, Air on. Yeah. Okay. Oh Amon. lordy. Where are you getting these results from? I Where am I getting that from? Time. Oh, look at that. Two nothings. Two nothings on Amon, but at least he's got shield. <laughs> this, is, this isn't looking pretty so far. Uh, right. What's Boba on? Boba's got four health left. Right. So, red, I'm going to check. Have I got anybody in Bullseye? Aim on. Oh, I'm going to fire at aim on. Yep. With red. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got you in bullseye, so I'm going to spend a charge to fire. And then I'm going to spend two charges because you're in my bullseye to roll an extra two dice. Right. So that takes it to four. Lordy, I'm just bye. Of a load of uh, rubbish there, and my good golly gosh. Well, that's about the best I could expect. <laughs> and that was into Emon, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So Emon loses his last two shields. Change them on there as well. You are substantially winning at this stage, you realise. Yeah, no. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to mess this up. <laughs> we all know it's coming. But I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. Um, right. During the end phase... I'll get rid of one of the calculates on yellow. And I'll get rid of the one on blue. So green, red, and yellow will keep one thanks to Kraken. Now what am I going to do? Well, well, well. Um, oh, 
and I'm just going to check and see if I've had any replies back to invitations. Um, no, I've got somebody. Oh, Connor's replied. He says, "Holy moly, that's amazing. That's cool." I do think. <laughs> have you have you checked the, the the message for the photo? I haven't yet. No. I'll try and bring it up on the screen for her if I can. It's not finished, um, but I'm not entirely certain how I do that. But I'm sure I can at the end of the game. I can't do it now. Um, I, it's not finished, but I actually think she's doing a pretty good job of it. To be fair. How have we been on? How have we been live for an hour? Wow! <laughs> Tempest yeah. Fugis, where does time go when you're having fun? Because what terrible people <laughs> we made a mess of the stream, right? <laughs> we made a mess of the game. I don't know about the stream. <laughs> but remember, guys at home, we may make a mess of the game, but we can't make a mess of the Mandalorian, and we will be watching it live after this. Hang around and join us. Get the the reactions straight away, and we we might be lucky, and we might get somebody else on camera. So it's just not it's not just my ugly mug, my face that is fit for radio. Whose idea was it to bump Ali's ship? Um. I think it was um, a bit of a joint effort, to be fair. That does not fit. Why doesn't that fit? Right. Oh, is that what I want to do? Gonna say yeah. <laughs> okay, are you happy? Nope, but I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, are you ready to go to system phase? I am ready to go to system phase. Do you have any systems phase? Uh, I do, but does player one do theirs first? I don't know. It that goes was going to be an initiative, doesn't it? That was going to be my next question. I think who, go, who does systems? I've phase? got a feeling. It goes up in initiative. I have so, the same. I have the same feeling. It sounds good anyway. So I'm <laughs> going to move this little droid uh -huh. to there, and I'm going to move this little droid to there, yep. and then Red is going to drop a concussion bomb. Oh, lordy, lordy. Is there a concussion bomb? There I... is. Oh, there is, is that? That's I new. I was, I was going to say, I don't know. But clearly it's the there best is. day ever. <laughs> uh, that is all of my system fears. Okay, in that case, Emon <laughs> is going to drop where is it going to go? No, it's not what, where is it, it's where are they. So he's going to flip two charges <laughs> on these thermal detonators and he's going to place one yep. at range one. And it doesn't give me a range two, which it should do, and I don't know why. Because I have to place them in separate. Um, Doesn't that give you the option when you go to the drop bomb? It does. It gives us my three. They're not there. Thermal detonators aren't there. That'll be why. It's not updated yet. They're not in mines, are they? Are they in mine? I don't think they are. No. No? I don't even know what they do, to be honest with you. This is um, going to be exciting. I'm looking for the thing that looks like a little hand grenade. 
it should be there, but it's not. So we're going to have to just imagine. Anyone will do. Surveys, probe droids. We don't have a one, do we? So we'll just we'll call it a nah. bomber because it's probably the easiest. And then we get one there. And then the second one has to be at range two. And that's not coming up. It's only coming up at range one for some reason. But the card clearly states um, during the systems phase, you may spend up to two charges to drop that many thermal detonators using the one or two straight template. Each must be placed using a different template. And when you reload, you recover one additional charge. So you reload two charges. But it's not giving me a yeah. change. It's given you the option to do your aim on Yeah, three. it is, but it's not given us the other, is it? So um, I'll I'll make the most of Eamon's ability and I'll drop it at a range three to ship right because it gives me that option. Um, and we'll try and figure out how on earth it affects things later. <laughs> Get to range two. And then... Boba is going to flip a proxy charge. This should work easier. And he's going to drop a range one proxy mine right behind him. Where did it spawn to? It didn't. Range one, there we go. It helps if you press the button, Steve. It doesn't work if you don't press the button. And let's just check which one it is. Connor Proxy mine, there it is. Oh, sorry, and I need to go back. Oh, I missed the trigger. Shocking. And it's a May, so I can't do it. Darn it. Bugger. What was bugger, it? Bugger, Um, The Andrasta, not Andrasta, sorry, um, Cad Bane, may perform a red boost action. It doesn't matter, it's fine. I missed right. the Cadbane. I missed the Cadbane trigger. I'll add it. Uh, my ships in. Hi, Seb. Good evening. Yes, your ships. So we've got a five forward, <coughs> which is should be red, but is actually white. Yeah. Because of uh, my title, I am going to flip the title on that. And I am going to, as an action, what am I going to do? I kind of want a barrel roll away because eating two bombs seems bad. I like to drop the bombs. I'm less of a fan of dropping the bombs. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's stressful because it's red. Uh, I, like, I like to red. drop the bombs and, and hope that I'm not bombing myself because that's what normally happens because I'm that good. So red's very... doing a stop. I've discovered that I'm very good at playing this game badly. I'm just not, <laughs> I'm just not good at playing it well. <laughs> uh, green... Is going to do one of them. He's going to flip his title and calculate. And then blue is just going to do one forward <coughs> and calculate. That's me. Okie doke. So, Amon moves first. Amon is going to do a two bank. And bump, which isn't good because that bomb is rather closer than I expected. And the intention had been to do the Cad Bane trigger and boost and then do the two bank, which would have cleared. However, that didn't work because yeah. the trigger because I'm an idiot. And Boba is going to hard two, and I was going to hard two to the left, but I think that will bump, 
So I'm going to slave one it and hard two to the right instead. And that also still bumps. So what that is, is a complete cluster. Right. And uh, we're into, into shooty shooty bomby bombies. A squillion bombs detonate. Right. So um, it's in order. So yours go first, don't they? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh... And it was a concussion, so wasn't it? Is, it was, so that's a face down damage. Yeah, to all three. Yeah. Yep, so red's going to take one. And I don't see any issue in taking the strain, seeing as everybody who could shoot us is bumping us. And we then have to roll so. as well for concussion, don't we? You have to correct me on these because yeah. they're new and I'm not used to them. No, no. Um, you take a face down damage card and then yeah. you've got the option of you can either flip it face up or you can take a strain. Right, okay. Um, la, 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 um, bom, bom, bom. Do you know what? I'm going to take the strain on both of them. Key four. There we go, and now we're into my bombs. So we'll do this one yep. first, which is toggle range one, and it affects nobody. So that just goes and disappears. And then the second one is range one is just on yellow. So I will untoggle that and delete it. And you have to roll one dice, and you get a hit on a hit, a crit on a crit, or a strain on a focus. Come on, blank. Oh, I'll just crit. take a crit then. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that just hits shields, though, yeah? It does, yes. It's a, a hit damage, a critical damage, or a strain. Well, I'm, ass I'm assuming that's on the shields, because it doesn't say it doesn't. I'm just okay. going to pray and pretend it is. <laughs> I think it is, to be fair. And we uh, will then that's go be to... Even. Yeah, we'll go to Boba and we'll check for... Actually, I'll, I'll delete that bomb. Um, I don't think I've got anything front because he's bumped. So we'll just check the rear and I should have green on the rear at range one. But what I am going to do is I'm going to spawn my range one bubble because of his chip ability and see how many re-rolls he gets. The button. Three. Should be, but it's always good to test. One, two, three. So three re rolls. And he's going to take the range one on a rear shot, which is still. I, I love his rear arc ability. Having three out of the rear is phenomenal. And having that with the, the re rolls, just no wonder he was meta for so long. And we'll re roll that one. A good start for three hits. It's a better finish. Uh, Senor Green. I can't believe how well my green dice have been doing. They're, they're incredible, they are absolutely <laughs> incredible. Uh, so that's two to green, yeah. So two shoots. Yeah. And at the end of this turn, will you remind me a double check overlay? Just to make sure that it's right, because I've got a feeling I've missed a card somewhere on something. I will never remember that. Can somebody in the chat please remember? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I've only got the one shot. Um, hang on, I've got him on first. I don't think he's got anything. But nah, he's check. got nobody. No, there's nobody in the rear at all. No, he's got nobody, that's fine. You I'm have. just going to uh, add another two of those. I forgot my repulsors again. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, we've got... Oh, what I should have done really was fire the Discord there. But I've missed my opportunity. Uh, I'm so pleased I spent all these points on yeah. things I'm and not using. 
Chris, you're in chat. You're going to be a star and turn your camera on for 10 o'clock and join me, aren't you? I'm going to try the range one in the boba. Cool. I'm saying 10 o'clock. It'll be about quarter past now because we're slightly late. So we've got two locks. So we roll two dice. That'll That's pretty do. good. That's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. My dice will be as shocking as normal, and he takes a hit and a crit. And this is going to be very, very painful on Boba. So we take a hit, which is the fifth. And the crit. I need a direct is... hit. Oh. Oh. It, is... <laughs> it is. For the benefit of those at home. See how that works. It is a fuel leak. Oh, it's even so the right way up. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's six. He has seven. He's down to one with a fuel leak. I did tell you before, before the stream started, how to make it the right way up if you're going to place things into the, the dice box. But I'm guessing you didn't. You did, listen. but <laughs> with, with incredible instructions, I can still get stuff massively wrong. Okay, so that's the end of the round, isn't it? So That is the end of check. the round. I'll just double check as I flip my dials. Boba is down to one with the crit. Eamon is down to five. And you should uh, have... Um, green is on one shield remaining, yes? Green has one shield remaining. Yellow has all three. No, yellow has lost one. I knew I had one missing yep. somewhere. I knew I had one missing somewhere. Um, red is five. No, four remaining. Four health. Is that right? Yep. And red has got five. Blue's no. got no, sorry, one blue. shield. Yeah, death. blue's got one shield death. Yeah, that's fine. That's right. So that makes the points correct, and it is. 99 point no 98 points to nil at the moment awesome uh so i'm keeping a calculate on red blue and green What am I gonna do with you? What am I gonna do with you? We've missed something. Boba could well be dead. I've got a screen on Boba. Oh, I rolled too many dice. And I rolled too many greens. Uh, yeah, right. Well, we all missed it anyway. So I need to re-roll for that. So you had hit, hit, crit, and I rolled two yep. and got one blank and one evade. So I need to roll one green dice. If I get an evade, whereas is, if I don't get the evade, then he's dead. Yep. That's right, isn't it? That sounds right. Okay, and it worked out exactly the same because I got the evade. But that makes it well right because his strain now leaves him. Yep. And also, I get to go click and put my miss trigger up one. 
Do I get to add one because I forgot to see your strand? It's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> but that's right. Yeah, I'm going for the high. I'm going for the high score here. Right, I believe I'm set. I am set as well. So, as systems phase, do you have any systems? Well, I got to move my little uh, lovely droid. So we'll put one over there. I think at this point they just have to stay away from all your bombs. And then I have to drop a bomb. Yes, you do. And that is me. Okay, and I'm going to flip two charges on these lovely thermal detonators. I'm going to place one at range one. And we used that one before, didn't we? Which is fine. I'm then going yep. to place the second one at range one. Three ship right. I'm then going to remember the card being trigger, which says that I may. I'll read it off the card. After you drop or launch a device, you may perform a red boost action. So I'm going to boost to the right, which makes me stressed because it's red. I'm then going to move to Boba, and Boba is going to spend his second proxy and drop a bomb at range one. Sorry, a mine. It's not a bomb. Which is, is it two? It is two. Make a nice little field there. And then it is Amon's turn. No, it's not. It's your turn to move. Yep. yep. Uh, let's start with red, because... No, let's not... Actually... Yeah, let's start with red, because I was expecting you to be there. So I was looking to just bump. <laughs> <laughs> but you rather cheekily moved out the way. That does clear my stress and my strain. Uh... And I don't really like any of the barrel rolls yet. So from an action. How many have I got there? Four. I've got to calculate. I don't think I'm going to get a shot. So I'm going to take a weapon disarmed and I'm going to reload. One of my multi missile pods on the off chance that I survive this. Uh, blue is going to do a stop, take stress. Green is going to do a too hard with a side slip and flip. Do you know Start what? Back. I'm flying it really badly, but I really like this list. The fire sprays are tons of fun. They are just so much fun. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm glad I've got two because they're going to get painted, I think. And I'm going to barrel roll that way, which is red. And then yellow is also doing one of those sidey ones, which flips his card back. It's a blue maneuver as well, so it gets rid of the stress. And this is what this is one of those games it. that it's one of those games I don't want to go at the clock. I want to keep playing this. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see what happens. It, it, uh, you, that's gonna be You know when you get uh, a game like that see? You do, don't you? Uh, Every yeah. now and again you get a game like that and you just don't want it to end. 
Yeah, see if I play along enough, I'll massively mess up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, that is your ships. Okay, so Emon is going to do a blue boost, uh, sorry, a blue one bank. Because it's blue, it removes his stress that he just got before, and I like that bin so much. Also so the strain. And it removes the strain as well. Yes, sorry. Um, I was coming to that. That one. It was nearly another missed trigger. Um, and because of that, he then gets an action. And as an action, I'm going to reload. And I'm going to reload these two charges on my thermal detonators. Because when I reload one, I get the second one for free. And then Boba. Boba's going to do a two-turn. And this is lovely because I get a choice. And one thinks one should move to the right because there's not a mine. There's no mines here, is there? I'm just double checking because I can't see. Through. Just the bomb. The bomb there. That's the one. That's the one I was looking for. Um, there's that bomb there, and if I move to the right, that's going to keep me in range of it. If I move to the left, that should get me out of range. So we're going to go to the left. I might still be in range, but we'll see. And for an action, I'm going to take a focus, I think. Um, and Zeb has a question. Why is stream only 480p? I have no idea. It set it itself. That's something I need to look into. I think it sets itself to the quality of the X-Wing game being played. Uh, well, in that case, 480p. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm happy I'm, with that. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Um, right, so I'm going to take a target lock. Because I've just decided... And the target lock will be placed onto. I've got a feeling some of the settings are wrong. I need to go in and check them all because changing machines the other week, everything went strange and changed. And I've got no idea why. Because I'm a, a techno technology troglodyte. And I think that is everything, isn't it? Hard to see details. What did you do? Did you lock with Boba there? I did, yes, on O red. And you definitely want a lock here. Yeah. You definitely, definitely want a lock here. Why? What do you get for me locking? Well, I'm just wondering whether or not you want to boost out of range one of the bomb that's about to kill you. Could do that, couldn't I? That would be a really good plan. Well, I've, I've, I really want to win, Steve, and I was really torn about mentioning that, but I would put money on you being range one and dead before you get to use the target lock. So we'll do that then. That seems fair. Thank you. You're a gentleman. You are um, welcome. Yeah, I genuinely don't know about the 40. I know the um the, the, over, the map with the logo on. We're looking at getting that altered slightly so that the stars are a little bit darker because um, it does look clustered. And I've been looking at the colour. Well, I went to yellow earlier on this week for the overlay rather than white because it does look not clear. But you could be right that it is the setting on stream. And it's currently saying that I'm using 3.1% of the CPU and not dropping any frames or anything like that so the system should be able to take it much much higher I need to find out how to do that I need to ask somebody <laughs> right so I've got nothing on my bomb okay and we've got on this one range one is oh just nothing this one. Uh, you'll need to roll. Oh, uh, what is it? Does it take a damage? 
It's um. I'll roll. Yeah, it's it's uh, a hit damage, crit damage, or strain. Right, so that my poor little droid is dead because he suffered damage as normal. Uh, this one looks painful. Yep, so that's the same. That's roll a dice and that takes the take hit. a hit on red. It's got three remaining. Red's and th that's it. Red's down to three, did you say? Yeah. Right. I've got points. That's good. Um, none of them being crossed. So now Boba has probably nothing. But I wasn't expecting him. He's nothing in the rear, nothing in the front. He's got nothing at all. Eamon has got out the back arc. Range Red two. Range two. We'll take the range two, I think. Another shocking roll for just one hit. Oh, I'm glad you didn't focus there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And next is yours. Uh, yellow, I don't think has anybody. Red doesn't. Blue doesn't. It's down to the last action hero. Uh, green is armed with multi-missiles, so they're out of range. So it's just going to be a range three. Hail Mary. So he gets three dice, which you'll be very grateful for. Uh, I'll spend my calculator. Take two. Come on, Boba. Come on, Boba. Come on, Boba. You get a reroll from blue. I, I do, yeah. Um, It's just the one, though, isn't it? Yeah. And he's dead. That's the final damage, and because it's a fuel leak. Oh, it doesn't make any difference. He's dead regardless. But it wasn't a crit, so it actually fuel leak didn't trigger, but that's fine. Um, look, I'm just going to die. And it's aiming against the world. Yeah. Uh, back to Dales. Yeah. I'll back check to... me range. Back to so Dales. Go... Yellow's going to keep, red's going to keep, and blue's going to keep. Yeah, in my case, it's back to Dial. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a lot easier thinking than yeah. Um, it's well, no, because Boba's good fun. <laughs> Boba is good fun. Right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. I'm set. We're gonna do that. Yeah, the the bombs uh... look almost like the stars. I I need to sort this mat out. I really do because it it looks pretty when you make it, but then. When you put it on screen, it just, it's too pretty. Which is a bit of a shame. Right, I'm set as well. Uh, system fears. I have to drop a bomb. From red. That's his last one. So Chris, you didn't answer me. Are you going to put your camera on and join me in five minutes for Mandalorian? You know you want to. We've got popcorn and everything. I'll throw it at the camera for you. That's my red done. Okie doke. So it's me to move, isn't it? Uh, are you oh. dropping any bombs or anything? Oh, no. Sorry, we're still in the systems phase. I'm ahead of myself. Um... Do, 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 do. 
Um, no, I'm not going to. Thank you for saying my logo is great. Um, my stepson is a graphic designer and he designed it for us free of charge, which is fantastic. Um, and he literally did it on his laptop, sat in the living room over a cup of tea in less time than it took him to drink the cup of tea, which just baffled me immensely. Clever birds. Uh Take another calculate with red then. The one that we had before, he, he used various expletives and said, that needs changing. Get yourself sorted. And I said, I've got no idea how to do anything better. And he said, Give me, make us a cup of tea. I'll get the laptop out of the car. He came back in. He had the laptop set up. And he had it pretty much done before I could place the cup of tea in front of him. And he said, what's that uh, like? Yellow, do you like that? And I was like, on. what? <laughs> I was like, how have you done that that quick? And he's like, because this is what I do professionally. And like, Okay, that's a fair answer. So we've got a one forward. And then the yes, the, the hoodie that I'm, I'm wearing now has got the logo on and we got that made as a test. And he took one look at it and said, why didn't you tell me you wanted it for that? I would have given you it in a different format that would have come out better. I'm like, I didn't know these things. He's going to barrel roll towards the bomb. Because he loves it. Oh, is he going to bomb himself? We haven't. Nobody's bombed themselves this game. It wouldn't Absolutely. be any Castle X Wing game. It just wouldn't be any Castle <laughs> X Wing if we didn't bomb ourselves at least once. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he can get a lock on you, so I'm just going to calculate. That's me. Okay. Is it me to move? That's you. I do believe it is, and Damon's going to do a hard two. And that's time, and is going to take a target lock and place it onto yellow because it's nicely in front of him. And we'll see what happens here, but I think you've got the game. So, Eamon is front off. Hang on, start the combat phase. I'm going to launch a Discord. Okay. Because I've had it been... all game. And you've been forgetting to do it. Okay, and that attaches itself to me, doesn't it? Yeah, it should. Uh... What is it? What is? What do these things do again? I hate separatists with a passion. At initiative zero, it attacks and automatically puts a crit through. Yes. Right. There it is. Uh, red. Yep, no, that's all I'm doing. Then. Okay, so... So the, this bomb goes off, yeah? Uh, yes. So it's just blue. And blue loses the shield. It's a face down damage card. All right, okay. Uh, um... And I don't think I'm getting shot, so I'll take the strain. Right, instead... Instead of flipping it up. Yeah, okay. So, we get one down. We're going to have to manually calculate the points because you've still got shields on blue. But you're going to have a damage card on it, so we need to double check that for half point because the overlay doesn't do that automatically. Right, well, it's got eight. Um, yeah. In total, so currently it's not below half strength. Yeah. But we'll sort that out. Yeah. Uh, aim on to, to destroy the other. Yeah, aim on is going to do a front arc and... Or oh, possibly red. Oh. Do you know what? It's really Red's two. got three left. Mm, this is a decision because I put the target lock on and didn't even consider red. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Decisions, decisions. 
What's yellow on? Yellow is two. The only last one. Do you know shoot. what? Do you know what? I'm gonna take yellow because I might be able to half him. Yeah. I think that's a better choice than being able to destroy red because realistically, red's probably not gonna get destroyed. Especially when I've got a target lock, which I can now get rid of. Because <laughs> that is another horrendous roll. That is considerably better for two. Will the cheeky lock hold out? Yep. It holds out. Uh, so that's a shield on yellow. So it's down to one shield. My shot's back. Yeah. So, blue. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have a target lock on you. It's red and yellow. So, it's just going to be a range three regular shot. Uh, I can re-roll two because I've got two locks. I'm just going to roll this one. And then I'll spend my calculate. And it's a range three, isn't it? It is, yeah. So that's three dice. So three dice. Nicely done. Now, now they come. <laughs> uh, could, it, could have maybe he's done with them earlier range 2 obstructed range 2 it is obstructed uh, so I get, I get the gas of, cloud yep yeah, spend a couple of charges yep. to take it up to 3 dice There's two locks on you. And I've got two calculates. Or three. Oh. Change that back to... It wasn't a crit, it was a hit. And yep. we'll roll. And we've got two evade. Oh, no, we didn't because it really rolled back. We've got one evade and one out the box. So we re-roll the one that's out the box. And get take two damage. That is the, uh, the coffin. Yellow. I have yet range two. Mm -hmm. And I have it locked, so I'm going to spend a charge on concussion. Yeah. And have you got any damage cards on you? I have, yes. I've got three. Uh, right, so I got to re-roll one of them. Ooh, and the three hits. He takes all three. Right, all so three. you've been hit, so you expose one of your damage cards first. And they need shuffling, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, doesn't matter because he's dead regardless, so. Oh, you're not going to hold on that one? No. Oh. <laughs> but it is a fuel leak. <laughs> <laughs> one. So two, which... That... Three. Fuel leak is... After you suffer a crit, and none of them are crits. A so crit, yeah. So it doesn't make any difference, but he is dead. And that is GG's.
Very good game. It was a very enjoyable game, despite losing. So that is 200 points to... Um, I'll just take them off. 200 points. Have you, any of yours so been it's... halved? Just so we get the uh, end red. right. Red's halved. None of the others are, are they? So that's uh, no. 200 points to 29. I was really lucky in that, obviously, you had to split your fire to keep getting shots on us. Yeah, it was a bit irritating, but that's just one of those things, isn't it? And if, I am it, going to, if it makes you feel better. I'm going to do that for the people at home. <laughs> And that then was I'm going to flip over to that there and so that you can see me. And then I'm going to flip that to this. And go like that. And then I'm going to flip that over to this and do that. So that I can then get the Mandalorian watch party set straight up. And I'm guessing you're hanging around with me to watch it, yeah? Well, I'm going to have to move. Uh... And That's all right. Is it? As long as I've, as long as I've got it. some, as long as I've got somewhere, someone to talk to, then I'm happy. That works for I'm me. I'm hoping I'm going to be getting on. It sounds like Ebony's busy killing all our friends. I'll, uh, I'll message you and let you know what's going on. Right. No bother. Um, I and will. I'll see you in a bit. Cool. I will bring that up. Um, for everyone at home, we will give it one of them and flip over. And I'm gonna uh, means... dash now and see if I can uh, find some other watches. Okay, I'll see I'll speak to you, speak to you in a minute or two. Um, and I need to add my timer wherever it is, which is always useful when you're doing. Why does it not turn up when I want it? I can never find this darn thing when I look. Probably because probably because I put it in the silly places. Um, bum, bum, bum. Where is it gone? Where is it gone? Where is it gone? I've lost my timer again. So what I need to do is put Streamlabs up to date on that. And bring the page up like that. Sorry, I always talk through. It's not that one. Don't ping at me. I don't like you pinging at me, machine. You're not supposed to do that. Stream labs, timer, widget is there. And it is that one. And we can close that and bring that up. And then I add the timer in to... Where are we? That one. Sorry, I I'm not good at multitasking. Put that up there, I'll put that invisible. I'll put myself over there. And I'll bring the chat down to there. And we'll turn off so we can because the dog isn't in here with me at the moment. And I will flick to that. And that looks slightly better because we will just hide the other display which has the timer in because we haven't actually started yet. And we'll chat for a couple of minutes, I think.
and then we'll start the Mandalorian watch party. Okay, and that is there ready. My Disney Plus is just loading up. So guys, if you've not if you've not done a Mandalorian watch party before, what we do is you load up your Disney Plus or whatever it is that you're viewing it through, etc. Um, however you do that. And I will start a timer and we will watch it together. Um, I'm just going to send a very quick message to anybody coming on, on cam. So if somebody in the group wants to join us, we have eight of us. So, oh, Chris doesn't have access to a telly. That's sad. You can get it on the computer. It's cable. It's it's possible. If you'd said twenty minutes ago, I could have given you the password. Not a worry. Um. So, we have got. I'm gonna go through. I've got, I've made some notes because I have a shocking memory. So we're gonna have a little bit of a chat about what we think is gonna happen and what happened last week. First of all, so. We've got a bit of a spot, well, not a spoiler, but a bit of a, <coughs> a revelation in that Dave Filoni gave an interview on Monday to Vanity Fair, I believe it was. Um, yes, it was on Monday, and he discussed about the last episode, and more particularly, he was asked about the epilogue in Rebels when Sabine and Ahsoka go off to hunt for Ezra and what he said was that he was asked directly and he said that it's possible that Mando is set before the Rebels epilogue so that means that what we saw last week could be before Ahsoka teams up with Sabine and goes looking for Ezra and that adds a little bit of a twist on it so it says that we don't actually know what's happening yet. We don't know what's happening with Grogu. We don't know what has happened before Ahsoka goes back and sees Sabine and the rest of the crew at the start of the um, the, the epilogue at the end of, of Rebels. Um, we've got a few questions to ask. We've got some Easter eggs from last week. Um, I, I haven't seen today's episode, so I can't give any 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 spoilers for today. Um, but from last week, we've got a few Easter eggs. I don't know if anybody um, noticed that um, Morai, the convo, the, um, the, the representative body of the daughter, for those that have seen Clone Wars, um, she was, the bird was sat on the tree in the fog. I don't know if anyone noticed that. Um, We've got the possibility as well that um, is Din Djarin force sensitive? His his thing with Grogu. We found out. We we found the child's name. We got Grogu. Um, so when Ahsoka is prompting Grogu to uh, to show an example of his force powers and asks Mando to interact with him. Could it be that um, the reason he was able to react and the, the reason that the child has been able to or been so clingy and made a connection with Din Djarin, could that be because Din Djarin is force sensitive? I don't know. That's a possibility. Um, we had one of the droids on the, uh, in the, the village at the beginning um, one of the H thingy joints, I forget the exact number, had the Seventh Fleet icon on the side of his head. Now, for those that don't know, the Seventh Fleet is Grand Admiral Thrain, Thrawn's fleet. So, could that be another indication that we're going to see Thrawn? It's possible. And why did Rosario Dawson, who plays Ahsoka, why did she mention Simon Cassian? 
I can't pronounce his name. Cassianides, um, the guy who played Axe Wolves, Axe Wolves in Chapter 11. Um, she actually mentioned that it was great working with him. Um, but he wasn't involved in Chapter 11. So does that mean that potentially we're going to get another view of Ahsoka? I don't know. It's possible. We'll have to wait and see. Um, and then the big question of them all is, who saved Grogu? Did, um, well, we know that Anakin, when he destroyed the temple of all the younglings, he, um, he was at, Grogu was at the temple then and somehow survived. We have the mace window going out the window line and he was a very very strong force user a very strong jedi would he really die falling out of a window that seems a little bit hard for me to believe to be honest um it could have been mace window so we could be looking at samuel l jackson return or indeed another actor playing mace window that is possible and that has been hinted at there are a couple of hollywood stars who have indicated that they um, they perhaps may be interested in the role. Um, could it be that Jocasta knew, the librarian, did she save Grogu? I don't know, she's another possibility. Certainly she will have been well aware of his force abilities if he had been at the, um, in the, the, the temple for so long um bear in mind grogu's 50 years old that pig makes him exactly the same age as anakin skywalker previous to turning into darth vader um that was a ping let me just check is that ian joining back in no it's not okay um so we've got that possibility we also have the possibility of Emperor Palpatine. Emperor Palpatine obviously is dark side and Grogu has been demonstrating a force trope which is a dark side power. Could he possibly have learnt that from, could Grogu himself be on the verge of changing from light side to dark side or back and front? Who is Grogu? Where does he come from? We only know of two of the people, or two of the characters of his species. That's Yoda and Yaddle. And Yaddle is in episode one, but doesn't appear in episode two. So, could it be the same as, um, uh, what's what's the guy's name? The the other the other Jedi on the council. Um, it'll come to me in a second, I hope it's with names. Um, he was allowed to have relationships. He had multiple wives in order to carry on the existence of his species. Could it be that Yoda and Yaddle did the same thing? And that's where Grogu came from? That's possible. And the final Easter egg competition, we've already seen Law Santeca. Law Santeca um, appeared as well in um, the sequels, he was the guy who had the map that said where Luke Skywalker was for Rey to go and find. What's their connection? And could it be that Grogu will be placed onto the, the temple, um, onto the seeing spot, and be found by Luke? That's a possibility. Um... I don't think I've got any more written down, but there's so many different ones that it doesn't look like, um, well, we're, we're going to find out. It doesn't look like anybody else is going to join me. So what I will do is we'll start the watch party. I'm going to flick the button and start the timer and bring it up onto here. And you can get my reactions. And if you're there watching me, that's all great and hunky-dory. Um, if not, then we will make this available later for you to watch. And the timer is starting 
in three, two, one, start. And let's begin. Oh. This is interesting. Already. There's another view. A nice catch up. Oh, go on. That's a shame, Ian. If you want to jump back in, you can always talk to us and I'll tell you what's happening. Not sure it helps. That is my front door and sounds like food. So I'm going to very quickly to Tython. Wow, what a brilliant depiction of Tython.
Fabulous. Ian, do you want to put Discord on and chat? Can you do that? If you can, it's open still. Channel's open. Ooh, that's a fire spray. Who's in the fire spray? Boba? Boba. Wow.
Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Hope I still got it. <laughs> Ian, you were going to buy a CIS fire spray anyway, weren't you? Let's be honest. Psionic rain. We're not in a not in a rush to buy anything like that over here because they're not getting here because of a, a lost cargo ship. Um, everything coming from the states is on on hold, and we don't know how long for. Boba is badass. <laughs> that would be
be a good idea to lock ships, wouldn't it? <laughs> lock your ships and keep the key in a safe place. Not under a flower pot. Happy man, dude, guys. <laughs> What's it, what are they called? The, the, um, the multi lock things that went over the gear stick? Can you still get them? For our American friends, um, we don't really have automatics over here, they're all stick shifts. We all drive manuals pretty much. <coughs> That was one thing I find really, really strange when I go over to the States. Go over and get in a car and it's like, where's the, where's the gear need to leave I can't? <laughs> but it would be that hand anyway. <clears throat> What's all this with stormtroopers actually being able to hit a target? Alright, it's best car, but That's the real Boba. Oh my giddy aunt. Star Wars is becoming Star Wars again. This is the best Star Wars. Boba approves. <laughs> There's no Sirlax here on, on Tyroth, is there? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Dark Troopers! Now these things are meant to be monstrous in size, big enough so that a human can actually get inside one of them. These are the third generation ones, according to legend. They started off man size and ended up being almost double man size. And they're droids, by the way, but uh, the, the very, very first generation apparently were clones. But the clones had too much human instinct.
and out, dog. Come on. Good girl. Oh, bless. I'd saw you to this. I can't. So you want to treat. You come over here and have a treat. Go to your bed now, your bed feet. Go on. That's a deal maker. So he's going to go back and spring the guy that he locked up during season one. Hope that works out well. Happy Wine Down Friday, guys. Slange and all that lock. He's exhibiting all of the right dark side powers. Is he going to get balanced? Oh, the dark saber. <gasps> <clears throat> uh 
<coughs> Leave Groku alone. Big bully. Are they trying to m create Snoke? Do you think? And that was episode number whatever it was. Wow. That's going to need some rewatching. Episode number six, season two. I love the end credits. I love the artwork on the end credits. It's fantastic. Well, guys, it's been quite a long stream. We've been on two and a half hours. That's quite a long time for us. That was really, really good. I'm going to rewatch that. And we'll do the same again next week. Hopefully we'll have a game beforehand. And we'll then do the watch party after. And with a bit of luck, we'll have somebody else on with me for next week. Because it's always nice to have somebody else on video and on camera. And have a bit of a reaction. While the title, the closing credits are playing. I will flip over ready our closing credits which will be coming up soon thank you very much to everybody who's joined me it wouldn't be the same if we were just sat here on our own Ian and I enjoy playing the game so we would still have fun but it's far better when we've got somebody else to watch it, thing, these things with us keep an eye on the stream we've got lots of things coming up and we'll have some more games through the week Hopefully we'll get a group game in next week. We haven't done one for a couple of weeks. So that would be good. If the, if the guys can arrange their schedules, I'll let you know. I'm still watching the closing credits, but I think we're about done. And I think it's time for my supper because my nice local delivery service has just delivered it. Friday night treat. And I will say once again, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm sure you will. Thank you for the constructive criticism, feedback, etc. in chat. There are a couple of things for us to look at. We're relatively new at streaming still, so I think we're getting there slowly. Um, I like the dice cam. I think that's working really well. It certainly looks pretty. We've got a few other things that we need to fix, though, which is all good. And we have got the. We're going to have a paint cast once Ian gets it sorted. Uh, Shenanigans Gaming, if you haven't already checked out Studio Shenanigans on Facebook or on YouTube, by all means, have a look um, there at the bottom of our page. The The skill is absolutely incredible, and he is planning on doing a paint cast on this stream so that you guys can paint along with him and we can paint along with them and get some helpful hints, tips, etc. So keep an eye out for that. Um, the dice cam is biased, definitely. Um, it's always Well, dice are generally biased against me. I, I learned that when I first started playing the game about nine months ago. Um, and it's been the same ever since. So, yeah, I think it does accept bribes. <laughs> Other than that, um, it was a great game. I enjoyed it. And I've, I've loved that episode. And I've enjoyed your company. So enjoy the rest of your your evening, guys. And may the force be with you. Stay safe and have a magical day.